Josh, we knew in our trailer reactions. This is a new trailer for the new Terminator movie, Terminator Dark Fate. I, I, here's the thing. The first two Terminators were great. And them bringing back James Cameron for this one is probably actually a pretty good move. It's just, I don't know, I'm a little exhausted from this franchise, especially after the last um, iteration, Genesis, which wasn't really good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look at this from an optimist point of view, because it, because there are some things I'm actually excited about. For example, Tim Miller directing and Lynn Hamilton coming back. But then there's also things like the title, Dark Fate. I, I, I'm just like, uh, did you guys create that in the boardroom meeting or something? But, but who knows? Maybe it might be good. I mean, you do have Mackenzie Davis, who I believe is a very underrated actress. If you haven't seen um, shows like, um, I believe she's in Blade Runner 2049, but also she's in like really great shows like Old Catch Fire which also has a uh, glee pace, and that's one I actually highly recommend her in, but this is, like, our first big role, and I'm actually a little happy for her, because it's just, like, I'm a really big fan of the actress. So, it does have some stuff going on, but I'm just, I don't know, I, I guess we're gonna have to see how this trailer goes. So, so yeah, but before we start, I just want to mention my Patreon, in which I do, in which you can get early access to my VD, videos, unedited show reactions, as well as access to shows, um, to show reactions that I can't necessarily post on YouTube because they're damn draconian and copyright system. So, if you want to, so if you want to uh, support me over there, you can support me in the channel. You can also, um, link will be down in the description down below. And, yeah, let's jump into this, shall we? Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, I had this nice, simple life. No, it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah, Great Blue Luna, aka Ghost Rider, is the new Terminator, which is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa. Before, almost human. I am human. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. How do, no, we, do win? we win? We win by keeping keep you alive. alive. <laughs> Okay, so that was a trailer for Terminator Dark Faded. It looks cool. I will give it this. It looks cool. Um, I completely forgot about the Gabriel Luna thing. Uh, for those of you that don't know who Gabriel Luna is, he was just recently on Anderson's Shield. He played Ghost Rider. So there is a little bit of expectations. I think from what I'm able to get from the plot, it is it does you know this you know what this movie kind of reminds me of fucking Logan, <laughs> especially especially actually Logan and The Force Awakens because you have the new cast. Which Mackenzie Davis, whoever, um, whoever she's protecting, and then, um, and then, and then, fucking Sarah Connor and Arnie, and then, and then, um, fucking Sarah Connor and Arnie, and then you have, um, 
And then you have, uh, what's, what's his face? Um, and then you have Mackenzie Davis. And then you have Mackenzie Davis, and then Sarah Connor coming back into the fold. I, again, I'm very... This does look visually good. Like, there are some really stellar fights. It looks fucking brutal. I'm praying to God to get an R rating. I know the last one have been... I know the last one was PG-13, and one see where that were R. Hopefully they get an R rating, because it does look kind of brutal, and some of the action scenes does look brutal. Although I will admit some of the CGI kind of needs work, but then again, this is only a first trailer. It does look cool, and it does seem like it's kind of branching out from the whole Connor storyline and stuff, which is... I, I would say it's a much needed thing, but then again, I don't know how you would do that. And I know this. I know this completely removes all three films. Even the, Cameron J. Cameron would be like, "No, this is not. Uh, this takes place all three films, and this does take place in a universe where Tomb Raider one and two has happened." Although now I'm wondering, like, what the fuck happened? Oh wait, I know what happened to John Connor. But then again, also like, what happened to that version of? John Connor, did he go, or did he die, is he not a part of this adventure, I don't know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where I'm just like, okay, I got a lot of questions, but I, I will give him credit for trying something different, I mean, this is really the only way you can really do this, and again, I'm not the biggest fan of the title, the title doesn't work, it, it's a stupid fucking title, but I will say this, this does look kind of badass, and I'm more or less curious, um, although there is one, although as I kind of looked at the writing credits of this, there is another concern I have, and that involves a certain somebody, oh crap, uh, David S. Square, yeah, he's, a, uh, he's officially getting credit on this movie, not the biggest fan of him, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of his writing style, um, especially post-Blade Trinity, so, ooh, Again, this has enough things to where I want to be curious and I want to kind of get into it, but at the same time, though, it's just like, eh, I, I don't know. I'm I'm very hesitant on this one, again, mainly because I've been burned by already three other installments, but I'm I'm going to give it a chance, at least give it the benefit of the doubt. So, yeah. Anyways, you guys, 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 you